So, ladies and gentlemen, as a head of the research group, the right of privacy in Central European Brussels Network 2022, tutor of the exciting example of criminal procedure of the Faculty of Law and Administration, the Cardinals and Officials University of Warsaw, and the Director of the Office of the Justice of Warsaw. I'm pleased, pleased to welcome you very warmly to today's Oxford debate. The theme of today's meeting is that right to privacy. The event is organized with the support of the scientific circle of the criminal procedure of the Faculty of Law of Law and Administration of the Cardinals and Commissions in the University of Warsaw, Central European Academy University of Minsko, and the Institute of Justice in Warsaw. And I only briefly mention that this is our second Oxford debate in Central European Professors Network, because years ago we organized an Oxford debate on the debate. I hope that it was just a year ago, of course, that we initiated a unique series of Oxford debates at our Faculty of Law and Administration, in which we will interview with students of foreign universities. Now, two teams from Central Europe, Hungary, Serbia, Slovakia, and Poland, of course, will take part in the debate. My pleasure in this debate, I am the coach of the Poland team. The main goal of the event is to draw the attention of the communities of European countries to important and relevant topics related to the future of the Europe in the 21st century. In addition, today's debate aims to enable young researchers to present different visions about the right to privacy and well as as well as to analyze the country's legal systems regarding measures to protect the right to privacy. It is necessary to Look at these issues from the perspective of young researchers, who, thanks to the refresh point, you can see the opportunities and risks posed by the next decade of the new century. The right of privacy is particularly valuable for the life of the The protection of private life has been ensured by a numerous number of regulations, including national and international ones. The right of privacy has been placed in the most important. Documents concerning human rights, but also contributed by the Constitution of Poland States and included in the national legal order. The constant development of the new technologies and the progressive digitalization of, of subsequent areas of human life have led to the emergence of the education society. The development of new technologies has also led to the emergence of the new rights uh, right of privacy. It is necessary to provide adequate guarantees of the right of privacy and legal mechanisms for the legal protection of private life. So, in this moment, I would like to give the floor to Professor Jonathan Chilani, who will, will make the welcome speech on, on the part of the Central European Union. Professor and Chilani, in this debate, is the coach of Central European Union. Mr. Professor, please. Uh, Mr. President, dear colleagues, thank you so much. Uh, as the team leader of the uh, Central European team, uh, on behalf of the uh, University of Michigan Central European Academy, I warmly welcome you to the Oxford debate organized in the framework of the previously mentioned Central European Professors Network. I would like to express my gratitude to the contributors of this event, that is to the renowned organizers uh, Institute of Justice uh, in Warsaw, uh, UKS Wu, and of course, Professor Marcin Vialetz and his uh, colleagues. Uh, of course, I would like to continue this order, uh, uh, the gratitude uh, to the part participants uh, of the event, that is the young colleagues, uh, both from the Polish team and the Central European team. Uh, and of course, I would like to draw your attention uh, to the uh, contribution of the audience, of the distinguished audience. Thank you so much. Uh, this uh, Oxford de debate is a noble competition. However, it's worth noticing it's not only a competition, but also a kind of cooperation, cooperation among uh, young researchers of this region. And it's worth noticing that is a cooperation among Central European countries. Uh, both these uh, cooperation attitudes are quite important for the Institute, uh, the Ferenc Maidor Institute led by me, and of course, 
uh, to the Central European Academy. This Central Euro European Academy operates a kind of junior program uh, in which, into which uh, we invite uh, young researchers uh, from the Central Europe, from Visegrad uh, countries, from uh, Croatia, Slovenia, uh, from uh, Serbia, uh, of course. Uh, and uh, uh, now the, the team, the team led by me, uh, they are participants uh, of this junior program. And you can also uh, see uh, one of my young colleagues from the Ferenc Madel Institute. I wish you, especially for youngs, uh, fruitful debate. And thanks, uh, thank you again for this uh, great opportunity. Mr. Thomas, thank you very much for that kind of words. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are slowly approaching the start of this debate. So, please allow me to return to our great debaters from the Central European Forum. Dear young scientists, we are very glad that the debate final is the direct presentation of your view in Warsaw. A year ago, due to the COVID 19, we couldn't meet in person in divorce. Today we can. But therefore, in my opinion, the difficulty of the debate is even greater. All the debaters see opposite, see each other, they feel they isolate and the tone on themselves. In this case, I know you are nervous. I know that. On the other hand, we could wait. I know that you have a lot of thoughts, a lot of adrenaline and curiosity in your mind. However, you will have one of the most important emotions. It is courage. Because not everyone will take part in such a serious public debate. You too. Congratulations on your courage. I wish you open minds, brilliant answers, controversial conclusions. And And finally, let me mention people without whom this huge adventure, which is a research cooperation in the Bradley and the Student Center of Europe, would not be possible. I mean, of course, Professor Shila from this program from our friends and Mudas, and Mrs. Sober Kadashan Zobor from the Center of Europe and Thank you for this beautiful moment, beautiful cooperation, and I look in the future to a great moment. And I would, I would like to thank also Ms. Asha from my, my circle, science, science circle, you know, possibly for organizing I would like to give the floor to the Ms. Margaret Bill, who will be moderator towards the debate. Thanks for your, thanks for your attention. I wish the participants interesting deliberation. All the best. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you for giving me the uh, Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to, to welcome you at uh, the second uh, Oxford debate. Uh, as we already know, the main issue will be the relationship crisis. Uh, so, if you're ready for the really uh, impressive mind game, we uh, have two main areas. In the debate, two teams. Four speakers in each area, participants from uh, Poland and Central Europe, and only five minutes for each speaker. During this debate, we'll have two questions. The first one is present the source of privacy and their importance in the national legal order, and the second issue. Is evaluate the effectiveness of rights, privacy, legal protection measures in the national legal court. In the beginning, I would like to introduce the teams uh, to start with our guests from Central Europe. So I'm pleased to introduce Professor Jan Edeshilaki, uh, Professor in the pool. Professor at the Faculty of Law of the University of Kishnarov, 
and the head of the Department of Agriculture and Labor Law at the same time. He's the director of the Science Month Institute of Congress in Florida. His scientific activity is connected to numerous international and national academic organizations and scientific journals. For example, as a member of the board of directors in the European Public Law Organization. Deputy delegate of the manager report of the Committee of European Network Group. Furthermore, as editor in chief in the following journal, as Central European Journal, Journal of Comparative Law, Journal of Agricultural and Environmental Law, and Law Identity and Uh, I would like to introduce the uh, Mrs. Rebecca Yan Kanama, my PhD. She finished her master's at the Commission University in Bratislava and PhD program in the field of the international law at the Pan European University, where she is currently an assistant professor. Rebecca speaks Slovak, uh, Hungarian, Czech, and English, and uh, has the basis of German language. She was also a member of European Law Rules Court Competition and Central European Rules Court Competition. She is currently a doctoral student of the Central European Cooperative Law PhD program at the University of Michigan and a teacher at the Central European Academy in Budapest. Next participant of our debate is uh, Dr. Eniko Kalian. She is currently a doctoral student of the Central European Cooperative Law PhD program at the University of Wisconsin as a researcher at the Central European Academy of Elizabeth. Uh, she graduated at the Faculty of Law at the University of Wisconsin in 2021. She completed a relevant task study at the Economic University in Krakow and the Aristotle University in Milan. She speaks English, French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Greek, German, Chinese, and our next uh, participant of the debate is Ivan Belkanovic. He's currently a doctoral student of the Central European Comparative Law PhD program at the University of Michigan and an intern at the Central European Academy of Ivan graduated at the Faculty of Law of the University of Novistad. Uh, uh, he speaks uh, English, Italian, Lombard, Spanish, Latin, Russian, and uh, And the uh, next participant of the uh, Central team is the Dr. Gashka Tonga. He has been a researcher at the Stalin Park Institute, the Department of Public Law, since 2019. He is also a doctoral student at the University of Michigan, where he graduated in 2015, and the co president of the PhD session of the Hungarian Society of Monology. That was speaks English, German, Chinese, and Hungarian. He participated in the debate as a member of the Hungarian team in 2021. So that was a squash of the uh, Hungarian of uh, the uh, opposite team, and now it's time for a uh, hear from Poland. Um, so the chief of the team, Professor Martin Gellert, uh, graduated of the Faculty of Law and Administration of the Cardinal Township University in Warsaw. Professor of the Cardinal Chief University in Warsaw. Currently at the faculty, he is also vice dean for student affairs in the of the law, as well as men in cyberspace, and the head of the Department of Criminal Procedure of the Faculty of Law and Administration of the Cardinal Chief University. Uh, graduate of his MD program, of postgraduate graduate at the SFP School of the University of Navarra in Barcelona. And today, I'm the National School of Public Administration. Director of the Institute of Justice in Warsaw, Vice Chairman of the Haiti Council of the Institute of Forensic Experience, Professor Zerwin Krakow, Member of the Council of the Bank National 
for a bank administration member of many government bodies, bodies of scientific journals in Poland and abroad. For example, the chief editor of the quality law in action, published by the Institute of Justice, a member of the program board of the International Scientific Journal Central European Journal of Comparative Law, published by the Bernstein Institute of Comparative Law in Italy. Uh, professor is also a member of the Central European Professor Network, co founder of an international research project of the Polish Hungarian Research Platform, conducted by the Institute of Justice in Warsaw, president of the Polish Association of Comparative Law, and a member of the Central European Association of Comparative Law based in Chicago. So I would like to introduce uh, Mrs. Gabriel Mienka, Polish lawyer, a graduate of law at the Faculty of Law and Administration of Cardinal Stefanowski University in Warsaw, research and technical specialist at the Institute of Justice, author of several books of legal studies, scientific articles, chapters, member of a number of national and international research projects. Speaker and organizer of national and international scientific conferences, as well as saying, even multiple scholarship, holder of the Rector Scholarship for the Best Students, uh, laureate of the Cultivate International Center of Scientific Star Circle, awarded for the Best Speech to Reverber and Police of Arnold, President and Vice President of Scientific Circle of Criminal Trial Law. President and Vice President of the Scientific Circle of the Human International and Law Human Rights, member of the Teaching Committee at the Faculty of Law and Administration of the Academy of University in Warsaw, on behalf of students. Main interest focused on these issues, issues related to the criminal law and criminal procedure, new technologies law, human rights protection. Public international law, European Union law, and international relations, as well as international security. Next participant of the debate is Ms. Agatha Kutter, law student at the Faculty of Law and Administration of the Cardinal Stefanowski University in Warsaw, member of the Board of the Scientific Circle of Criminal Center of the Faculty. Of law and administration of the Capital University in Warsaw, recipient of the Rector's Scholarship for the Best Student for 2020 2021, organizer of international and national scientific conferences, member of international and national scientific projects. Main interests of the high public international law, criminal center, European Union law, and the human rights. Um, and now I would like to introduce Mr. Thomas Weyanov, a student of law and the Institute of Administration of the Cardinal Stefanowski University in Warsaw, a scholarship holder of the Minister of Education and Science for Academic and Achievements for Students for academic year 2021 2022, and a four time scholarship holder of the Rector's Office. A John Powell Fenham Scholarship Holder of the President of the Capital City of Warsaw, the author of several thousand scientific texts, and social political analyzer, a, a member of an international and national research project, a speaker and the organizer of international and national scientific conferences. His main tweets is the criminal and procedural law, administrative law, new technology law. Human rights protection and public international law. Unfortunately, today uh, with us, uh, we don't have uh, our friend Julia Tarifa, uh, which uh, we, we hope will get well because uh, she has some um, health problem. But the substitute of Julia will be Mr. Tommy Manager. Uh, 
uh, coordinator of the Center of Strategic Analysis of Institute of Justice, researcher in the Central European Protective Network 2021, researcher in the Central European Protective Network 2022. PhD student of the Faculty of Law and Administration at Cardinal Sebaguchi University in Warsaw, laureate of the Minister of Science and Higher Education Scholarship for Outstanding Achievement in Science for the Academic Year 2017 2018, uh, winner of the Delta 2020 competition, representative of Institute of Justice in the Arsenal Integrated Working Group at the Chancellery of the President Council of Ministers, author of several books in scientific tests, manager and member of international and national business clubs, as well as a speaker and organizer of international and national scientific conferences, main features of Bartek is a new technologies law, human rights, protection, intellectual property law, public international law, and the criminal law inside. So now, so we came back after that break. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for the station. And uh, before I take a question, uh, we will again uh, try to withdraw uh, the strategy. So I will ask the opportunity to do that.
29 of the on the right of the formation of self determination and of the critical formation which jeopardize the performance of the public service that in connection with the emergency. The constitutional court of this decision, 50 of 2021, concluded that this provision is not contrary to the fundamental law. Specifying that the general reference to the emergency is not sufficient, but the competent institution is obliged to mention the actual public task that the one here remains unfulfilled if it has to be denied for the attacks of time laid down in the act on the right of information of self determination. According to the constitutional court, Failure to mention the danger of public task would be put into question the need for regulation, which is a condition of the limitation of the law. Moreover, the constitutional court stressed the obligation of the competent institution to point out the specific reasons for the deviation from the lapse of time laid down in the act on the right of the information of self-determination and of the freedom of information. Finally, the last case I'm going to talk about regards the protection of regulation and right of bias of legal ethics. The Sports Association Winter Football Club, which was a petitioner in this case, and its majority owner jointly used the vote of funds of the association. Since the coat of arms was changed by the majority owner, despite the agreement, the sports association initiated a proceeding. The Guyan, in its decision, did not find that the right of privacy of the sports association, including its right to regulation, was violated. Therefore, the petitioner lodged a constitutional complaint against this final decision. The Constitutional Court, in its decision, found that Puglia did not take into account the fundamental rights involved, since it did not take into consideration the fact that the protection of personality of legal entities must be interpreted differently than that of natural persons, given that their essence can be captured in the image that appears to the outside world. As a consequence of this perspective, the Puglia did not determine whether the change of all the funds had a detrimental effect on the reputation of the petitioner. Due to this reason, the Constitutional Court found that the judgment of the Puglia was contrary to the fundamental law and unlawful. That's it on my side. Thank you so much, uh, for your speech. Um, I would like to ask them to come to the office again to ask. Okay, thank you very much. I will talk about this in a different way. And as I mentioned before, the right of privacy is one of my number of international and national legal acts and it's all by European EU and national law. And in my opinion, this issue becomes even more important than reality. And starting with the subject, it should be known that the Polish legal system, especially Polish constitutional system, in the field of protection of right of privacy, fulfilled these standards. And in the context of effectiveness of the protection of the right of privacy, it's necessary to point out the particular legal measures. Uh, that individual is entitled to order in the protection of his or her rights and freedoms. And to begin with this, it's necessary to focus on the highest level of protection, which gives us the national uh, law system. And it would be, uh, for example, the possibility to go to the international court. As far as the right of privacy is concerned, the particular attention should be paid to the defensive of your system of human rights and uh, protection, especially the application to the European Court of Human Rights, and of course the European Union system of human rights and protection and the role to the 
for the tests of the European Union. And the point of view of the demand guarantee solution that does not close the, the way to that. And moving to the national level, attention should be drawn to the right way forward. Right way forward is relevant from the international standards and as well from Article 45 of the, the Constitution of the Republic of Poland from 1927. And it's not worth the role. First, in the individual, as a right to report with the scope of criminal laws, legal and administrative law. In the connection with the right to report, there is, for instance, nature of the proceedings uh, and uh, the right to defense and the right to criminal health, in my opinion, are also important here because it improves the protection of right of privacy in the, the connection to right to report. The right to report is, of course, fundamental, but so much do not forget about complaints, motion, petition, and interpolation, and maybe administrative way of proceedings. Uh, this can be addressed with the strategic authorities, which then allow them to provide the information on the particular subject, in this case, in the right to the privacy, in the privacy. Um, for example, the protection of the right of privacy, in the aspect for the specific. Uh, going further, if it were not in my opinion, the specific instruments as they are the constitutional Republic of Poland. And one should be mentioned here that I to, to exclude the openness of hearings in uh, court proceedings, in special cases, and the number of the exceptions of the rule in the court proceedings. Uh, and uh, the historical of the special times, which uh, included in the political protection of human rights and freedoms is the constitutional application. It's atypical with the legal instrument which can be used under the same conditions. It's costly solution, but the political system uh, uh, but the political system makes it possible to detract all rights. The institution is responsible for the respect and protecting human rights and freedoms. Especially in private privacy programs, is the Ombudsman. The Ombudsman has the specific political and political powers that can have a real impact on the protection of the right to privacy. He has all the moments which analyzes the uh, and uh, she should be sure to she uh, also has the human rights cases in the political system in, com in comparative to uh, aspects to the international law. It is also worth mentioning that she went by Ombudsman and the Ombudsman for the Smart and Medium Enterprises and the Patient by Ombudsman. These authorities can also have impacts on the observance of the right of privacy in the respective cases. This is uh, only the spectrum of the effectiveness of measures protecting the right of privacy. However, in order to explore the topic further, it should be discussed from the civil perspective, criminal perspective, and administrative perspective, as my colleagues will do. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will remind you of the participant from the center of the team. Thank you very much. First, I would like to reflect on the fact that, in a critical respect, right to privacy is not only a constant protection, but also a very critical procedure, which is usually a strong inclusion of this right, not just in the case of suspects, but also third parties. And for example, all of the assignments that we mentioned. Act 19 of 2017, criminal procedure, contains many provisions in this regard, such as coercive measures like search, that of underwhelming, other premises, fence place or vehicle, in order to conduct an investigation and activity. The Act also contains provisions on our instruments, the use of which, according to Article 1 and 40, restricts the fundamental rights. To the inviolability of the private home and to the protection of privacy, confidentiality of correspondence and personal data, and is carried out by the authorized bodies without the knowledge of the person concerned. There are some important safeguards measures in the law to ensure the protection from unnecessary surveillance. Covered instruments have three types one is not subject to authorization, two is authorized by a public prosecutor, and three is authorized by a judge. This can only be used if there are reasonable grounds for believing that the information or evidence could locate 
indispensable for the purpose of the film of proceedings. And third of the opinion by the least, there are used as an identity or disproportionate distinction of fundamental right to the person concerned or of other person in relation to the law enforcement objective to be achieved. And the use is likely to uh, obtain information and evidence relating to a criminal offense. Other than that, Act 33 of 1994 of the police contains some other provisions. In connection with the police action or the performance of the team, the police may record the images, audio, video, and sound recordings. The law stipulates that when they are no longer used, these recordings must be deleted after a certain time passes. Uh, there are some provisions about the confidentiality and deletion of data obtained using our instruments. It must be ensured that measures to data are not made available or accessible to non private persons. To better protect privacy, only the relevant public prosecutor or judge has the ability to access collected data. Any uh, data obtained okay, which relates to a person who is clearly not concerned in the proceedings in connection with the secret information was collected must be deleted immediately and may no longer be used. Also, data which are not relevant for the purpose of the use of the instrument um, must uh, not be involved in the case, not involved in the case which are deleted. The law also deals with police data management in a separate chapter. It must be made clear that the covered instruments in surveillance and criminal matters is handled differently from using these tools in national security matters. The latter is regulated by different laws and has different rules. The biggest difference, difference which was uh, criticized politically, is the fact that other than a judge, the Minister of Justice can also give authorization to use of this matter, effectively in every case related to uh, national security. Although there are many examples for rules like this in Rome, this was uh, a political scandal when it was revealed that Hungary holds the Israeli spy software for the benefits. Which the opposition claim was actually used. The criminal use of covered instruments also caused a public uproar when it was revealed that through them, that the head of the Hungarian chief of judicial official and judicial officers and a certain high public official were involved in many corrupt practices together. So it seems that these instruments are highly effective. However, the danger they pose to the right to privacy cannot be overstated. One uh, interesting case I would like to mention relates uh, to the uh, image of uh, police officers in the media. There was a long case regarding the defendant's member, but it was hardly debated whether police officers can be considered public figures so that images can be publicly shown in the media. There was no unified approach uh, to this question before, so Hungary news site was condemned that they posted uncensored images of policemen. In 2013, by the Courier. In the next year, however, the Constitution ruled that this position was unconstitutional, stating that if uh, the report is an important case and the police officer's portrayal is not something, he or she is not entitled to compensation for having recognized the image of that one. Despite this, the repeated procedure gave the same result on the Courier's part in 2016. So, for a second time, this uh, decision was overturned by the Constitutional Court, and finally, a different result was reached by the Korea in 2018 and in this case. Thank you. Thank you so much for the speaking, and I would like to ask uh, and on the opposite piece to say something about the Thank you very much for giving me the thought. The right to privacy has become a scheme from modern as this knowledge not only for the public, but also for the public. Uh, privacy is an unfreezing value and provides proper legal protection. And the group you mentioned when my peers would have been uh, on the civil code, uh, refers to personal rights that are beyond the category of absolute civil rights. And this includes an obligation of each person not to interfere with the spare rights only the legal code the law. The measures for protection of personal rights introduced on the, on the basis of Article 24 of the Equal Income Matters, a reference to a right of acting, a reference to a remedy, and the most 
It's an official new model was created between the constitutional reform that took place with the adoption of the Trump Act in 2011. Uh, and therefore, the system of one almost one with two deputy commissioners was established, and the data protection authority was not included in, in this system, but it was a separate administrative body. It should also be mentioned that every case, the first form of special political was a challenge in front of the Court of Justice of the European Union. On the basis of the fact that the Ombudsman was removed from his office before the official Ombudsman day, as a result of the institutional change that the Act of uh, 2011 introduced. The case was settled through, through negotiations with the final financial compensation offered by the state to the former special Ombudsman. Nevertheless, the new authority has faced the same rights and obligations as the former special Ombudsman, which are interrelated uh, from the uh, investigation upon notification, acts of video administrative proceedings, turning into court in connection with any infringement concerning public information and information of public interest, making recommendations for new regulations, publishing an annual report or uh, giving opinion on special and unfold disclosure reasons. Furthermore, being an administrative body, the data protection authority is entitled to impose fines in the case of the administrative procedure. The philosophy behind the two types of institutions is uh, fundamentally different. So the Ombudsman may issue not find decisions or recommendations, while the aim of an administrative type of institution is to issue enforceable decisions. However, the Ombudsman has the right to motion to the constitutional court, which the authority clearly does not have. According to the legislator, uh, this model of the institutional data protection is supported by the fact that the spread of information technologies and globalization poses a higher risk for the individuals, which therefore requires a more efficient investigative action from the respective authority. To conclude, we can say that the National Authority for Data Protection and Freedom of Information is a special institution which is the institutional protector of privacy in Hungary. It cannot be considered, however, as a legal successor of the previously operating Special Ombudsman for Data Protection. But the completely new institution, but its scope and tasks are basically the same as before. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to take the floor to my Polish team. Okay, so this is my tour. <coughs> and I have to say that it is so bad for that national thing before me because you said about Iran Zero. And I have also said about the criminal procedure uh, from, of course, uh, Polish perspective. So, if I could understand, I should assess the uh, effectiveness of the measures protecting the uh, protective right of privacy. Um, of course, from the criminal perspective, um, uh, okay, some program for me, I will do it. And, as I really like to say about the second point, you know, uh, as in question first, I was still saying about cyber combat. Why? And there is two reasons in my opinion. The first is that this convention uh, in this convention we had section two. And um, this may not as famous as section one, because there was this cyber crimes. So in section two, there is a uh, no criminal. Formal law, the procedure, from criminal procedure. And the second reason, of course, this is still law connecting our Polish development order with yours and our Euro countries. Um, and nevertheless, this is a very good uh, environment. This is a very good uh, example to show how effective law will have to And um, if uh, there will uh, be committed uh, some cyber crimes, our uh, special bodies, uh, Authorities, uh, our state, our state, and we have a lot of uh, wide spectrum of uh, measures to provide uh, reaction. And uh, for example, uh, in convention you can read, uh, I will not read because I don't remember this provision, it's too long for me. Uh, each party shall also with Article 16, Paragraph 1, each party shall adopt such a plan and other measures as may be necessary. Enable its competent authorities to order or start an expeditious uh, reservation of 
not specified for the data in the tracking data that has been installed by means of the system, in particular, where there are grants to believe that the computer data is particular. Um, one more able to go some modification of the SL post that is now published in the order, exactly in our Polish uh, uh, code of original procedure. And uh, one more is uh, exactly uh, in Article 218B uh, and 256 of our code um, uh, uh, of criminal procedure. And then we can maybe, maybe such second uh, example, uh, next one, of course, that uh, in convention we can read Article 70, uh, paragraph 1, that each party shall adopt the respect of certain data that is to, to be preserved under Article 60. And such a design and other measure, measures as may be necessary to ensure that such uh, expeditious preservation of tracking data is available, uh, regardless of whatever one or more service uh, providers were involved in the transmission of the communication, and to be ensure that expeditious uh, disclosure of the parts of data quality or person designed by uh, by by the by the authority of the sufficient amount of private data to enable the party to identify the service providers and the path through which the communication was transmitted. I sort of decided to uh, but in my opinion, uh, important. Of course, we have this also in that Polish manual order that set all these provisions from procedural law for convention. Um, and uh, this is exactly this dimension already mentioned by me, Article 200, I think, the end 256 of criminal, uh, all the Polish law of criminal procedure. And I maybe uh, know what we are thinking now about, but we have a wow, there is a lot of space in your way by the state, by the authorities, by the special bodies. The right to be passive, yes, because it's the procedural law. And indeed, maybe, but not this time, because we have a special law in Austria. Uh, this is the act of December 14, 2018, uh, also cited so, on the protection of personal data, but this proceeds in the connection with the prevention of common crime. And this act defines the principle, uh, we can read that the principle and conditions for that. Protection of personal data proceeds by the relevant, pay attention, bodies to recognize, prevent, detect, and combat of which acts. And this act, with our, of course, relevant uh, uh, Polish uh, provisions of Polish law of criminal procedure, create a logical tool for our bodies uh, to prevent cyber. To to prevent cyber crimes in accordance with the right to privacy, I think, I believe. And what about the effectiveness of this, of this measure? That, that there is a really effective. Uh, uh, just look into our official data announced by our Ministry of Justice. And uh, for example, if you uh, would like to copy uh, cyber crimes in Poland, just think about this. Maybe in terms of country, it's a good option for you. And uh, yeah, because why? Because uh, here, if you commit cyber crimes, uh, you have to, uh, against the right of privacy, you have to expect that someone so not, not your doors. And if you don't open this door, don't worry, we will go inside the window. And when window will be open, don't worry, we will blow it up. And now, uh, of course, I would be glad if uh, if there is a full solution for the right to be passing inside the space. It's very important. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I am giving the floor. Thank you. Part of the right to privacy that the individual can determine uh, which information. Uh, it should be known to others. And to all the intimate details and classify the data which become known. Uh, 
Uh, it also means that the individuals try to solve the combination of what is published showing some of the growth. Uh, in the second part, uh, I would like to present some important case law, which is related to the impact of the right to privacy and its importance in the just. In 2013, the Court of Appeals of the City of Page dealt with the situation of defamation by the news and news platform. It stated that the general right to privacy is violated by arbitrary interference in the individual's private offense. Thus, an offensive but not outrageously removed of the very public statement about another person's sexual orientation may violate the right to privacy because of the violation of the integrity of the intimate sphere, which is the innermost core of human dignity. Thus, the right to human dignity is the general right of personality, the component of which includes the right to freedom of expression, the right to self determination, the right to privacy. The innermost intimate area of the private sphere needs absolute protection. Part of this innermost intimate sphere is sexual identity. Thus, the defendant arbitrarily and unauthorizedly interpreted the plaintiff's innermost intimate sphere by attempting to discuss the plaintiff's gender identity in an offensive manner, grossly violating his most fundamental right to privacy, the integrity of the intimate sphere. In a case from 2012, the Budapest Third Instance Court states that an intrusive invasion of the private sector proved an unauthorized use of personal data, harassing, demeaning, or degrading communications with the user interface created on the community can, without a doubt, cause a negative change in the life situation of the actual person. In practice, there are a very increasing number of new opportunities for private violations using social networking sites. Using the relative anonymity of the World Wide Web, it is a common offense to hack someone else's profile and post messages or thoughts on their behalf. In a judicial practice, the creation of the user page with data referring to the plaintiff and then sending a message apparently on behalf of the plaintiff containing alleged misconduct to almost 500 users is in any way a violation of human dignity, regardless of whether the message infringes the interpretation. In a domestic lawsuit from the year 2018, a third instance court was dealing with a case concerning digital photo shoots of the plaintiff's wedding ceremony and the photographer as defendant was responsible. The claimant, after returning home from the honeymoon, noticed that the CE, which should have the mentioned photos, did not show the photographs, but the images of unknown people. Therefore, he submitted that his images of a unit and submitted them even had been lost, and thus the photographer violated his right to privacy. The right to inviolability of privacy memories and the care for them. Is the right of a person that is protected by law with an absolute effect. The permanent loss of a irreplaceable recording of marriage is a material breach of personality. Social science and technical developments of the human internet do not leave untouched the function of the press, a legal instrument related to the protection of privacy. A similar change to the appearance of image and sound recording in the appearance of social network sites. Provides the results of the network structure, which already rivals the role of the classical press as a forum for news and information. So the social, uh, the concept of social media appeared. On the other hand, the virtual self-expression of the individual, exploration of privacy feelings through shares on social media has taken on unprecedented proportions, and external boundaries of privacy have become subjective. The notion of private life is amalgamated with the notion of what is public. The fusion of these two notions will be according to the manner in which they have, until now, been perceived by the majority of people who naturally feel the essential difference between the two notions and that each of them makes any sense only in opposition to the other. 
even if in principle situations where the two notions come together cannot be excluded. That is to say, what is topic? Topic, because and so long as it is not private. And what is private is private because so long as it is not public. Thank you so much for the speech. And now we can turn to last representative from the Polish. Yes, thank you very much for the question. And the answer to this question uh, obviously involves procedural law. And I'm going to continue the administrative uh, law. Okay. Um, so, for the people who use it, it includes petitions, uh, complaints, motions, regulations. And then we are uh, administrative, uh, administrative uh, judicial procedure uh, of things. Um, but in evaluating the effectiveness uh, of legal professions uh, on the right to privacy, um, I would like to focus on the future of, uh, of those protections. Uh, recently, the Ministry of Justice has prepared um, the proposition of legislation on the last month uh, that effectively fundamentalizes the um, constitutional rights of uh, freedom of speech and uh, sends to protect others and false information uh, on the internet. Uh, at some point, it is a novel in our legal order, and as a project proposal, social networking sites will not be able to remove posts uh, or block the user accounts um, at their own discretion. So, uh, if the content posted doesn't, doesn't violate the police law, um, and there will be a chance, uh, a chance to. Um, you know, that's the law of this content. Uh, if the content is removed or our content is blocked, the user will uh, have the right to file a complaint to the service. Uh, the service. And uh, the bill also provides a complaint uh, to the social network about a publication covering content that doesn't comply with uh, policy law, along with the possibility of requesting uh, that the content to be blocked. Uh, in both cases, the service will have to consider the complaint uh, within 48 hours. And if the service makes a negative decision, uh, it will be possible to go to the court uh, and report because the, that was made within seven days. And the proceedings will be entirely electronic in uh, this way and uh, will be conducted by a specific, specified form uh, of protection of freedom of speech uh, established in one of the district courts. The bill also visualized the protection of a completely new instrument, um, the so called blind lawsuit. And some of those personal rights are violated in the internet, and by any person uh, will be able to file a sort of protection um, of the rights without specifying the defendant. And to effectively file a lawsuit, it will be enough to indicate the incorrect. Uh, where the offending content was published, and the data and the time of publication, and the users from a name of logging. Uh, by proposing such laws, it will be possible to demand uh, made a monopolist by Polish platform. Um, one of the problems is published on the internet, and uh, when someone wants to defend uh, against it, uh, they cannot find their rights, and therefore, they need to use uh, proceedings and apply to the general reality. And uh, the Institute of Justice uh, in some way contributed um, to the development of the basis for, for the solution proposed uh, to be uh, because of some Institute of the uh, many conferences on this topic, for example, the conference entitled uh, Cyber Security European Cyber Security Forum, which took place in uh, 2021, that's right. Um, including Professor the first thing we must, uh, our experts uh, have been here the discussion um, on the kind of law um, that should deal with regulation and um, on the famous model. The previous year, um, also the debate also referred to the famous on the internet and the censorship in uh, social networks. So, as I see, um, the introduction of so many changes is quite uh, rapidly changing. Reality proves that uh, there is a high level of effectiveness of pollution flavor, and uh, of course, there is much uh, more work needed here. 
Um, but um, in terms of this, um, of this implementation of the island propositions, um, I think that the, the measures for legal protection of the uh, right to privacy are on the good way. Thank you so much for speaking. And uh, before we will end the debate, I would like to please the uh, teams for extra questions for the team. So, uh, last time we started by the team, and now we will have to start by the team. Thank you very much, Kasia. Uh, and uh, I'm going to please the senior European team. Uh, what is the big problem? The right to privacy will be right over Thank you for the question. Thank you for the question, and I will give you an answer. That's a question relates uh, to the public figure status, which was already partly explored by Brian Hassan on the presentation. They must enter a greater deal of criticism from the press and the general public. However, the line where this quotation shall end is not really defined in the legal act and must be decided on a case to case basis. Courts must also decide whether someone can be considered a public figure or not. According to the Constitutional Court in one case, due to the advancement of IT technologies, other than uh, politicians and uh, professionals, many more persons can be influential in shaping this custom, discussions like media personalities. Or, uh, you know, sometimes exceptional people like people on Instagram or other forums online. The relation to the public figure status is now much, uh, for example, a uh, hungry and celebrity couple who have a strong uh, following on social media and frequently appear on television to the blogger after he criticizes the platform for showing many images of their public children on social media, effectively robbing them of their privacy. The court, despite all these facts, ruled that the couple can be considered public figures. There are many such cases, uh, and I think that it should be addressed that soon in the other legal order. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And it's time to sum up the debate, and I know that taking on the place is great, not great. Um, yeah. We haven't done that much. Okay. Um, 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 yes. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. And I will ask you a question because my asking so badly because it uh, relates to the new Polish law regarding social media. Uh, there are the provisions regarding the right to privacy in legislation in the Ukraine. of the national sovereignty in 
the main reality is that this will not happen again, that we as a sovereign state, when I say we all the time, all the people together, all the hundreds, very much so, yeah, that we in the future have to be able to stop that these things will never, never happen again. And also, one more thing, we all know this, but when we say something on the street, when we do something inside of our houses, we find uh, we find aggressive advertisements online. And I find also this really controversial from the point of view of the right of privacy, of the privacy law. And it is known as surveillance capitalism as it is defined by the American. American uh, scientist Shoshana Tupor. And I hope that in the future that we will be able to adopt regulations, to adopt laws which will be adequate in order to be safer online and not, not just online, but also inside of our homes without the fear of being surveilled by some. That's all that I would like to say. Thank you so much for your conclusion. I truly believe we will be to achieve it. And I think mm -hmm. that one uh, of the parts of the community is in the back of the community. I must say to uh, thank you for your uh, mainly the first uh, because uh, we need to protect our rights and freedoms. Uh, how we can do it? We need to be independent firstly, and as uh, we, we need to be strong for independence, and here in the part of Europe, in the Central Europe, we need to be also independent and also united. And uh, we need to work on our law system and our situation in this in Europe, in the European Union together, and then we can uh, Defend our rights and freedoms, for example, the right to privacy. And I hope that this project and many others uh, help us to, to do it, to become even more independent and more united and better uh, protect our rights. Thank you so much. So, uh, as I can see, the right to privacy is an element of regardless of legal tradition. But uh, it's not only in the law of our documents, so it's also we are in our hearts. So thank you for, for your speaking and also for, for your comment. And uh, it's time to sum up the basis of uh, today's mind game. Uh, okay, so I shall ask uh, about our analysis uh, in the field of uh, new social media law. So, uh, I'd like to answer uh, the act of uh, on the British freedom of speech uh, social media, uh, set by our uh, Polish Ministry of Justice, uh, provides uh, for the establishment of the freedom of speech and composite by members and uh, by the Polish state. Uh, this act also provides possibility for appealing against uh, the decision of social networking by the content. Uh, another change uh, is the regulation of social media laws that the act in the public interest to act against uh, this information spread via social networking sites. Uh, they did have the right to launch a campaign with the freedom of speech content, broadcasting that the specific was the social networking. Candidates for political entities will be certified by criteria, institutions such as ombudsman or ombudsman from Chile. Thank you very much. So, so Maria, you have to wait a little bit, and I like your discussion. Between, uh, between uh, Ivan and, uh, and Tom. And I think that we are further thinking. Uh, but, um, you know, there's a lot of tweets in other world. I agree with you that it should be 
five to seven. But you have to remember that some of the, as I said, on the right, you know, two, 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 and and what happened? I think that that, that in every modern country uh, is the to and governments to the next election because, for example, who uh, ever everyone say uh, because of of some some other I can I can go my account in Facebook, you know and and. As Facebook, in my opinion, is, is to to be to to to, um, to fight with them. Yeah. Maybe it is not too late. Maybe we can go uh, with some soft laws, maybe some soft regulations about this um, uh, right to privacy in the internet. But uh, our measures have to be as effective. As it can, as it can be in, 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 in our reality, if we can forget about our reality about this, what happened? We can, uh, what you said, of course, we can go before that was wrong. But now, now we have made different methods. In my opinion, this is only what I would like to say. When we create and thinking about measures in law, we have to remember about our reality, about what is on the board. Because I know that it should be, as you said. But I think that if we do it now, if we don't work, we have to use something another, another way. And don't ask me what is this way, because I'm thinking about it. Thank you very much. So I found this discussion very interesting and also part of the way that the companies individually are moved by this big, huge companies, uh, media companies. However, I think that uh, when the market they will put this big, they uh, you know have to accept that. Uh, they have been uh, infringed upon by uh, governments, like uh, in the case of GDPR, uh, it would be liable by the government setting because they can enter the whole new market. And this was the uh, same uh, when uh, Germany uh, brought some legislation and this case for really defamatory comments. Uh, uh, the German market is too big for them to lose. So I think if they stick together with Central European countries and uh, Try to impose our values on these companies, they just stick together mm -hmm. and they would uh, fail in this endeavor to uh, separate uh, together, maybe this one or this one. I can accept that, of course, I agree with you because I said about national approach. But it goes to international approach where we can unite it uh, and if we unite it, are, uh, of course, uh, there is a need to be uh, enough uh, strong to be strong enough as I will do. Okay, so I would like to really uh, thank you everyone for, for speeches and for all the questions. And uh, I would like to also thank you to many thanks for the coming on the opportunities for preparing the debate. And, um, and I would like to, at the end, uh, relate the words said by one of the most outstanding Polish writers uh, in history, Stefan Szeromski. Science is like the immeasurable sea. The more you dream of it, the more thirsty you become. So I hope after today's debate, we are still so thirsty and we will be waiting for the next year's debate.
Thank you. 